The reason why uh, cloud technologies and, and, and cloud computing is perfect for the small business, uh, there, there's numerous reasons why. But, but generally speaking, um, there, there, there's essentially four characteristics that, that small business usually sees as a, as a big, big benefit. Um, the first is scalability. The ability for me to, in my small business, go up or go down. Uh, predictability. Uh, no, to, to know that you know, every month my bill is going to be X amount of dollars without any surprises. Um, third, anytime, anywhere access. You know, the, the ability to access it from my house, inside the four walls of my business, or an internet cafe. And, and then finally is total cost of ownership. And when we, when we look at cloud computing, um, generally speaking, we, we can meet the you know, very same total cost of ownership of the technology they buy today, and in many cases reduce it, while giving them all these benefits. Let's expand upon some of those areas, and, and, and the first is, is scalability. And, you know, business changes, all business size changes, small business, large business, they all change. They change from, you know, employee size, uh, you know, maybe there's, there's seasonal activities that, that bring them up, that bring them down. They, they respond to competition in the marketplace. Uh, you know, a, a lot of things happen, maybe it's economic factors. But, but there's a very compelling proposition for small business where I can spin up and spin down resources on demand at the, at the, at the click of a mouse. Um, where I can take, uh, you know, traditionally very manually intensive tasks that, that were seemingly simple, like getting a new employee on board and giving them a laptop, and take that from a seven-day process or a five-day process from ordering the laptop to, uh, you know, delivering it to the, to the user with all their applications, down to, in some cases, minutes uh, by delivering a fully pristine desktop to that end user. Uh, so certainly that, that scale is, is, is a big thing. Predictability. Uh, you know, allows business to be more agile in, in the sense that, you know, today I, I could potentially go out and, and buy technology, buy, buy a server, buy a, buy a phone system. And, you know, I, I make decisions based on where I think I'm going to be. Um, cloud kind of unlocks us from those barriers uh, because it moves and it scales with us. If, if I need more, I, I go and I ask for more and I'm delivered more and my, my bill adjusts with that. And if I need less, then, then I give it back and I, and, I, and I take less and my bill adjusts with that too. So it definitely removes the barriers to traditional technology purchase that many of the small businesses see today um, in, in the sense that you know, my business changes and maybe I over-purchased and, and that certainly cost me money. Um, and in many cases as a small business I under-purchase and, and now I need to, to, to grow outside of what I, the decision that I made and, and that's ultimately going to cost me money as well. So uh, it, it allows businesses to, to, to much better manage their expenses and be more agile in the way that they grow their business. So the other way that cloud helps small businesses is, is just through the ubiquitous access over any public internet connection. And, and that, that's a tremendous benefit uh, because it provides mobility and availability. Um, it allows me to be, again, more agile in my business in the sense that you know, I don't necessarily need to hire the employee that lives within 10 to 15 miles from my business anymore. Um, it could be a part-time finance person that I hire in Phoenix, Arizona, and I've got an office in Philadelphia. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily need to be disconnected because I'm at a hotel or, or because I'm, you know, sitting in an internet cafe. Some of our offerings, particularly Office Anywhere, um, allows me to do full desktop virtualization, line of business applications, anytime, anywhere over a single internet connection. And the internet connection could be anything. It could be 3G, 4G wireless, it could be cable, it can be a hotel, it can be somewhere in California, it doesn't matter. Uh, so with the, with the ubiquitous availability of internet, it's given us a tremendous ad advantage, um, w with uh, particularly for business, um, to be more agile, be more available, and, and a lot of that is just the, the function of putting these things in, in the cloud and accessing them via the internet. The fourth area, uh, you know, again expanding upon uh, the, the benefits for small business, is total cost of ownership, and and you know w when we look at total cost of ownership, there's there's a lot of elements in the cost of IT. And a lot of times, you know, small, small business tends to j just look at one area and they say, well, here's, my, here's the first purchase that I need to make. I need to buy that server and software and that's my cost of, of IT. But at the end of the day, there, there, there is much more of a cost to technology. And, and the cost starts with the evaluation and, and then I select a vendor and then I, then I, then I would move into um, installing that hardware and that software. Then I need to train my employees. And I also need to train my IT staff or outsource some of those functions. And then I need to maintain all of that software and hardware that I bought to run my business. I have to maintain access to how people get to it and certainly pay for the technology to allow people to get to it in a secure manner. Um, then I need to optimize that technology and continue to pull it forward as long as I can. And eventually I reach the end of that life cycle, which is ultimately the decommissioning of, of technology. 
And uh, you know, as a reward for the small business, what they get to do is then go back through that life cycle all over again and spend the money. So cloud gives us, gives us and gives a small business the ability to kind of break down those barriers. It, break down, it breaks down the beginning, the middle, and the end and allows business to just look at it and say, I can go out, I can buy what I need today for what my business demands today. I can make the decisions on what technology will give to my business today. And as I change tomorrow, I can adapt to that immediately. And as there's upgrades that are available, the cloud is, is, is smart enough to upgrade with me. If I need more users or I, I need to expand, the cloud upgrades with me. So when we look at the total cost of ownership, uh, you know, in many cases uh, it, it's the same, and in many cases it's less in, in going into the cloud. So when we combine all of those things together, um, th those are the real you know, fundamental reasons why business um, sees, a, sees a huge, huge value in, uh, in, in cloud computing and cloud technologies. At the end of the day, you know, 365, seven days a week, um, regardless of what you do or what you need, the cloud is going to move with you. And that, that's really one of the main reasons why um, small businesses are, and medium businesses are, are seeing the, this huge push to cloud is because it'll change with me. I, I don't need to um, wrap four walls around it and, and sit within a box. The cloud's going to change with me as my business changes.